Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Yuziang 668-Q5 4-in-1 mini drones. Uh, so this is basically one of these, uh, you know, 4-in-1 where it has the prop guards, the like roller wheels, and then like the normal like car wheels. Um, I've reviewed a few micro quads with these options, but this is the first nano with these. Uh, and this is pretty cool. Uh, actually, you know, all these little accessories aside, this thing flies awesome. I was just absolutely surprised and impressed with this thing. And I think it's mostly in the props. I think the props are a little bit wider this way. They're a little bit fatter in the blade than most other nanos, like especially compared to like I, the CX-10, the blades are much skinnier. Um, this is a little bit bigger than the CX-10 too. I think it's more like a Proto X size in, in that area. Uh, but these these blades just give a ton of lift. So I think, you know, that's to account for like all the extra weight of these parts. So, the, I mean, the throttle is really, I, I don't want to call it touchy, but I, I mean, it does like, especially full battery, this thing only takes maybe like a third throttle to hover. So uh, when you first take off, I, I usually would tend to forget. And I mean, this thing just rockets off. Uh, so without anything on it, this thing is really zippy. Um, but you know, that aside, I mean, it's really stable and just smooth. Uh, just a really nice flying nano. And for, you know, kind of coming out of nowhere, like, I don't know, I've never heard of this brand and it's sort of abstract with the numbers and names. I don't know. It just, it wasn't really on my radar, but I thought it would look cool and kind of interesting, but absolutely surprised by how well this thing flies. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's got, you know, these are like these roller wheels, like you see in the picture here for rolling on the ceiling and up walls and whatever. And the way they attach, it just, you know, clips over the motors, uh, the motor mount, just like this, you know, prop guard here. So they just slide on to each side, nice and easy. You don't even have to take the props off or anything. And these are like your normal car wheels. Uh, so here he goes, a little picture of it there. So you've got, you know, normal four wheels. Um, but just like I've said with these, on uh, like the micros that I've reviewed, these are kind of weird since a quad moves forward by leaning forward. You can't really like drive forward on the ground with these because that's not how a quad moves. So it, it just wants to lift the back wheels up and just kind of slide forward on the front wheels. Uh, so these are, these are rather pointless. I mean, it looks neat and you can kind of drive on the ceiling because the wheel does come up above the, uh, the props and everything, but they don't, they don't really function like, you know, a ground driving vehicle just because a quad needs to lean forward and it just doesn't really work right. Um, but you know, these, these work okay. I mean, they're, again, they're not great. I mean, they don't spin too freely. I mean, you can see it just kind of barely moves. So I found a lot of time it would just sort of slid them along the ground instead of actually rolling. Um, but again, like I said, these, I mean, these are just sort of icing on the cake. I wouldn't even consider this for these things. Consider it for how well it flies. And the prop guard, you know, works well. And it's kind of like the CX-10 prop guard. And it does come up above the prop so it protects against the ceiling or crashing upside down a little bit. I mean, there's not a ton of clearance, but... Um, so in, in this form, that's how I like to fly it. It bounces off the wall nice with the prop guard, and it's got plenty of power to lift it. Um, the transmitter is, you know, fairly standard nano-style transmitter. Uh, you've got your speed switch or button on the right and your flip button on the left there. And you've got forward and backward and left and right trimming on the shoulder buttons up here. And this actually has headless mode as well, so you click the left stick for headless mode. Um, there are three rates with the, with the button there. There's only one yaw rate, but it's a good yaw. I mean, you can do funnels with this thing and zip around in a small space, nice and easy. Uh, really fast, tight flips. Uh, the headless works decently. I'll probably actually show it with this since it's kind of neat to, to spin around while flying a nano. So I'll probably go ahead and show off a little bit of headless until it stops working. Um, it has a 120 milliamp hour battery, so a little bit bigger than the standard Nano. Uh, you've got a USB charging cable, a spare set of props, and it takes about 25 minutes to charge. Uh, and you get about, let's see, without anything on, no prop guard, you get about 5 minutes, so that's going to be your longest flight, and you get about a 20 second LVC warning. 
Um, with the rollers on, you get about four minute flights. And with the wheels or prop guard on, you get about four minutes and 15 second flights. Uh, let's see, it does have LEDs in the, in the motor mounts. The front are blue and the back is red, so that's nice. I like red in the back, that's good. Um, and I think that's about all there is to say about it. Uh, like I said, I don't really have any complaints about this. I mean, these things are pretty much just, you know, novelties. I wouldn't even really consider like this for these. They just kind of come with it. This thing just flies awesome. So I'll, I'll try to go ahead and show that off and, uh, you know, let you guys get a sense of how well it flies because that is the reason to consider this thing. So let's go check that out. All right, this is the flight review of the four-in-one mini drones. And I'm just gonna fly it with the prop guard on because I think that's the way to use this thing is it actually flies really well. I think, you know, all the other options are just kind of for fun. But I wanted to show how this thing actually flies. We'll start on low rates. There's our yaw rate. Does not change. Get high rates going. Get back out in the center there. Whoa, right in my face. There we go. There's a good funnel. This thing just, it really flies so nice. I think, let's go to medium rates. I was really impressed with this thing. I think the, the props maybe are a little bit bigger or wider than other Nanos, so it gets a little more lift, you know, to carry all these accessories and whatnot, but it actually makes it fly really well gives it some good punch prop guard works good let's do some flips uh, right a little button there good flips really nice tight flips this thing is really a pleasant surprise I was not expecting that much out of it you know, being that it had all those wheels, you know, I was thinking it's going to be entirely novelty, but it actually flies so well. Those super tight figure eights. Oh, man. I should be able to get that. Uh, <laughs> I need to block this hole over here now too, I guess. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, give me a cut for a second so I can dig that out. I'll be back in just a second. Alright, I got it back. So we'll just do some more flying real quick. Show it off a little bit more. just really like flying this thing. It's one of my favorite nanos now, actually. It just flies so well. It's a little bit bigger than the CX-10, so it's not, not the smallest, but I'll trade that for performance. Though the CX-10 does fly really well, too. This thing is just cool. Oh, <laughs> and we'll call that a landing, and I think I showed pretty much all there was to show with it. So that is the, uh, I don't even remember, crazy name, 668-Q5 from Yuzyang 4-in-1 Mini Drones. Uh, just a powerful little Nano with all the extra wheels and prop guards and stuff. Pretty cool little quad. Alright, we'll check the uh, video description for price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.